Okay, uh, we're going to have another motion twin uh, using text and background image. So this is what we're going to have. It's pretty simple. It's a one second, 24 frame um, animation. Okay, so let's get started. Um, make a new file, 550 by 400. Okay. And then uh, I downloaded uh, one image from the web uh, and then I cropped into a 550 pixel by 400 pixel, which is the other default uh, stage size in Animate CC. So um, let's do this first. Let me uh, type some letter first, maybe this time um, my last name, Kim. I want to have my favorite orange. Okay. Uh, we're going to animate the text first. Um, my suggestion is uh, in Animate CC, uh, the typeface I'm using, my typography choice is a chunk 5x. I don't know what it is. This is the one I downloaded from the web. And then uh, most computers, uh, maybe most users, the general users may not have this font, I guess. So what may happen is if your end user doesn't have this font, it will be replaced by um, a system default like Helvetica, Arial, Times New Roman, or Korea, Geneva, Georgia, something like that. So to prevent it, uh, what I would do is go to modify and break apart and break apart again. So now this is a graphic. It's like a create outlines in Illustrator. So first, select your text. We're going to do motion twin again. So the routine is insert motion twin. And insert keyframe. So we have departure and the destination. So nothing's changing yet. So uh, on my first keyframe, I'm going to make it uh, bigger and first like I don't know, 300 so it's big so this happens and also um, I want to um, rotate it maybe um, just one time just once It rotates make sure this is all about the selection uh, to change the um, um, I mean to add some rotation things make sure you're selecting the frame not on your text looks the same but um, compare the properties panel on your right now I'm selecting my text so this is information about that my object when I click here this is information about the frame so I can rotate one time direction clockwise or the counterclockwise and also there is an ease option what it does it will control the um, um, kind of the speed it's getting slower maximum value 100 and minimum value minus 100 is opposite I would do a um, positive maximum value okay so this is easy and then let me import uh, the image but um, before I do that I'm going to insert the other new layer on top first and uh, let me move this down to the bottom because we're going to have the other background image so go to insert uh, file import and uh, import to stage I saved my image and on my desktop universe.jpg I cropped into a 550 by 400 in Photoshop and saved as a jpg file 
Okay. So this is what we have. Pretty simple.